everyone, I'm glad to see you here. And if you're new, welcome! Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to receive more reviews, hauls and makeup tutorials. I want to remind you that my holiday giveaway is going on. I will leave the link to the video in the description box. So don't forget to check it out and enter the giveaway. And today's video is going to be very homey. I have my ponytail, I have my home sweater that I really, really love. And it's going to be just a relaxing talk through and review of this precious over here. It's the Too Faced White Chocolate Chip Palette. It was a kind of hard to get from the Sephora website. First thing, I was expecting it to release on the Black Friday. And I am living in New York, so I have the um, PST time and it was releasing in EST time or vice versa. Wherever I was waiting till 3 a.m. I was not sleeping till 3 a.m. after Thanksgiving dinner just to buy this guy and it was not released. I was very very sad about it. Then I was trying to find out what's going on and somewhere I've read that it will be released on the Cyber Monday. So I was waiting till Cyber Monday. And then on Sunday around 8 p.m. I received an email from Sephora that as a VIP Rouge you receive an early access to the new releases, blah blah blah. So I've purchased this guy on Sunday and as I know on Monday morning it was already sold out. But I very very hope and on Sephora website it says that it's coming back soon so I think it will release back very very soon. And I also think, I'm not 100% sure, it's just a rumor, it's just what I think that it will release in the spring 2017 collection as the permanent palette. But that's just what I think, I'm not sure again. So yeah, let's get started with this one. So this palette retails for $26 and you receive 11 eyeshadows over here. 10 of them are 0.02 ounces and one of them is 0.05 ounces. Also on the back over here, the, this whole part is the ingredients. So I suggest that all of the shades have different ingredients in there. But anyway, it's an outer packaging and inside here how it looks. It's very pretty, it's very, very pretty. The palette itself is very, very small. I was not expecting that it will be so small. I've seen a couple of reviews on the chocolate chip palette, the matte version, and it was looking like it was a little bit bigger. For example, here is the Bon Bons palette, and you can see that the difference is just very huge. It's plastic, it's not like the other chocolate palettes, but it feels very, very sturdy and travel friendly. It does not feel cheap at all. On the back here, you have the names of all the shades because you do not have it inside. And now let's peek inside. You have a decent sized mirror. I would say that it's a very, very high quality mirror and I've really liked it. And you have your 11 shades. One of them is bigger, this one, and it's the glaze shade. It's an all over lid basic color, which is very, very great that they put it over here. When I first received the palette, I was like, what the hell is going on? Why is it so small? And it is really very, very small. You can see it's a little bit bigger than my nail. I mean, each pen is a little bit bigger than my nail. And I would say that, for example, with these morphe b15 it's a little bit hard to get in the pen but overall quality is amazing and i very very like this palette even though that the shimmers are not very good with the brush they are good with applying it with the finger and the matte shades are just awesome they are very very smooth very pigmented just just great and now let's go closer to the swatches i will talk you through each of them i will show you finger swatch and brush swatch because i just found out that they are so so different and how can you understand if you like the palette when the finger swatch is like a hundred percent opaque and the brush swatch is not very same. So I do like to compare them and I also like to share my reviews and opinions. And now with no further ado, let's go closer to the swatches. So 
So here is our first row. I want to mention that I'm not using any primer underneath. And for all the swatches, the first swatch will be finger swatch and the next one will be the brush one. So our first shade is named Glaze. And this is just the basic all over lid setting color for your primer or concealer. As you can see with the brush, it went on very smooth. It's not very pigmented, but for the purpose that you will use it, it's gonna be perfect. The next shade is Ambrosia, and it kind of matches my brush, if you can see. It's a matte, neutral, peachy pink color. It's gonna be perfect for the transition shade. It also went on very, very smooth and not patchy. And the last shade in this row is Exotica. And it's a very, very gorgeous pink silver metal shade. As you can see, the finger swatch went on more metallic -y than the brush one. So if you want this color payoff, you have to use your finger to apply the shade on your lid. But this more sheer, more neutral pink will also be perfect for the lid color. So what I think that with the first row, you can create very nice neutral day makeup and it's gonna complement your eye color. So here is our second row. We have two metallics, one satin and one matte color. So we will start from the first one and its name is Pearl Candy. I would describe it as a cool silver glittery shade. It has a very, very, very tiny lilac undertone to it. It was pigmented enough with the finger swatch but not very with the brush swatch this swatch took me around three to four swipes and i also had a pretty much of the fallout from this shade so it's definitely not the best one in the palette but there is always a chance that you can pack it on your lid with a finger and it will work just the same or even better than with a brush the next shade is raspberry rose and this is so far one of my favorites from the palette it's a very nice pinky golden duochrome color. It do has a little bit of that undertone that raspberry has. It's very, very amazing, very nice neutral and very feminine color. It is also very tender and I would highly, highly recommend it for all over lid color for a super neutral makeup. The next shade is Indulge and it's a silver metal with a little bit more of the lilac undertone. I would say that it's something between the first one and the last one. It looks amazing. The swatch was pretty pigmented, more pigmented than the first color, definitely. But with the finger, it was still better. Personally, I see this color as an all overlay color, as most of the shades in this palette, with this one as a transition shade and something more a little bit deeper, but with still that purple lilac in the crease and on the outer V. And I would say that it will be something with the red grape colors. It's just gonna look awesome. The last shade in this row is named Guilt Free and it's a very, very nice, smooth, pigmented lilac shade with a cool gray undertone. It's also gonna be perfect for the transition shade. And unfortunately, this is the shade that had the most of the fallout from the whole row. So here is our last row. We have one mat two mattes with the chunks of glitter, second and the last one, and we have one more metallic shade. So the first one is Cake Batcher, and I would say that it's straight up matte 
peachy color. No undertones, no nothing, straight up peachy color. It went on very smooth, no fallout, just a great shade as all the other mattes in this palette. It will work perfectly for a transition shade and also for all over lid color for a super neutral makeup. The next one is Cookie Dough and I would say that this is also one of my favorite shades in this palette. It kind of reminds me of some shade in the Too Faced Neutral Eye eyeshadow palette. It has a nude color and there are a lot of the very nice pieces of the gold glitter in it. It looks gorgeous. I don't know why, but it reminds me of the jar with the honey. I cannot explain, but that's just what I'm associating with this shade. It's gonna be perfect for any any makeup look it went on very smooth with the brush with the finger it went on a little bit better but it actually is still very good even though it has a little bit of the fallout the next shade named sugared raisin and i would say that this is one of the brightest shade in the palette it has that silver lilac very very bright undertone it went on perfect with the finger it had not had any fallout with the finger but with the brush even with a few swipes you can barely see any color except the glitter so i would strongly recommend you using finger with the applying the shade our last shade is named black sugar and i wouldn't say that i would prefer straight up black over this one this one looks just gorgeous it went on perfect with the finger and smooth enough with the brush i would say that considering that you will mostly use it as your eyeliner shade kind of and you will not put it all over your lid it's gonna work just fine the pieces of the glitter inside this shade are just amazing i had not seen it before but they are not straight up silver they do have a little bit of the bluish something in them and it kind of looks like the very very dark cloudy night when the sky is absolutely dark blue and you can see only a small amount of stars it's so romantic so amazing i love this shade so here are swatches of the whole palette i just wanted to show you a kind of overall picture so you would understand what this palette is as you can see most of the shades are either peachy pink champagne colors or silver metal lilacs. I would say that this palette would be great for a day-to-day -day neutral makeup looks. You can use all of the four matte shades as a transition shade and basically any of the other ones as your lid color and they will look just amazing. Believe me, I am very very glad that I have purchased this palette and I am happy with the results of this shadows they are smooth they are pigmented even though they have a fallout they just work perfect and I do really really love them and I just feel that it's gonna be a perfect palette for either travel with it for a neutral makeup or just for a day-to-day -day basis use these were all my thoughts I really hope that you enjoyed this review guys I really hope that it helped you to decide if you want to get it or if you don't Personally, I am very, very, very happy that I got it, even though that the first thoughts were not very happy, but after, you know, taking a closer look and playing a little bit with the makeup and with the shades and everything, I am really, really happy that I have this palette. And yeah, it completes this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!